Hi, here in this video we'll see how to create an exam by adding the question paper as a PDF and then assigning it to a dummy student and then testing it. So first after you have logged in, you can click on courses. To create an exam, first we have to create resources. So we'll have to go to courses and then create resource. So let's go to courses. And then we have to create resource. So click on resources. So here you will select your class and then subject. And then click on add materials and then click on question. Click on question in add materials. We are adding the exam question as a question resource. So now we'll give summative assessment as filter. We'll click on summative assessment checkbox. And if you want to make this exam visible only to you and not other teachers, you can click on visible only to me. Also, if you want the students to show the answer upon submitting, you can click on the checkbox. Next, you can give your title of this resource. So you can type your title and if you want to give the title name in another language you can click on to type in another language link on the above so when we click on it you'll get another window here you can type in another language you can select the language and type it you can type it in English and it will come in particular language and you can copy it and paste it in the title space. Just like this. Okay. So next to add the PDF as a question, we'll go to a drive. So for going to drive, let's see. Let's open a new window in Chrome and we'll click on the Google Apps option. And here you will get Drive. Click on Drive. So this is our drive. So first we have to add a file into a drive. So click on plus option and then click on file upload. And then you can attach your question paper. So now we have uploaded our question paper. So when we scroll down, you can see your question paper below. So this is a question paper. We can open it. And on the right side on the top, you can click on the more actions option. And then click on open in new window option. So first we have to make this PDF accessible to anyone with the link. So we have to go to more action again and click on share option. And then change the link from restricted. It will be restricted mode. So you can change it into anyone with the link. Make sure you're clicking on anyone with the link. Okay. And then you can copy the link. After copying the link, you can go back to the resource page and then you can paste your link in the question space provided where we usually type our questions. Okay. And then you can go to answers, I mean marks and give marks. You can give the total mark of this question paper, I mean your exam. If it is out of 50, you can give 50. And you can go to answer type and make sure it is descriptive and then click on save. Now we have saved a resource 
Now let's create an exam resource. So we'll go back to add materials again and then click on exam option. Choose exam. Now here again you can give the title for the exam. After giving title, you can give the duration for the exam. If it is one hour, you can give it one hour. And then you can give the total mark of the exam. If it is out of 50, you can give it. And then you have to click on the check boxes below. If you want to show the answers in the report after the exam, you can click on it. If you don't want to show the report on completion, if it is summative exam and all, you can click on the check box. If you don't want to show the report on completion, okay? So now let's give a section name for the section and then click on add question and then you can select your class and your subject and click on the summative assessment filter which we have given before and you will see your exam question here. You can select it and then below you can include on include questions you will add one and then click on add to add your question so now you have added your question so this is how we create exam you can click on save to save your exam now we have created an exam resource we can view it and make sure it's all right Now, next we have to publish this exam as a course. So we have to go back to courses and then click on publish a course and we'll give a name of the course that is exam course title. And then click on the third checkbox so that the students won't be able to see this scorecard right after they have finished the exam. It will be on when we uncheck it when we want to publish it to the students. So next you have to click on publish to 99 LMS option and then you can click on save. I mean next. And then you can go to the syllabus option. Here we have to click on add new material to add our exam resource which we have already created. Click on add new material and then you can search your, your exam resource by name. So it will be shown below and you can select and click on save. Now you have added your exam resource. So next you can click on edit and edit your marks. You can give the maximum and minimum marks. Of your exam and then click on save and then you have to click on publish save and then publish so now you have published your course successfully you can go back to courses and then click on manage published course so you can see your course here you can view it if it is all right you can preview it. So here you will see your exam course. Now let's see how to assign this course to a dummy student and then test it if the exam is all right. So we'll go to user management. Here we'll click on view students and we can search our dummy student or test student. And then we can click on the three dots on top of it and click on add new course.
Now you can search your exam course here. And then select it and click on automatic below and you can give a due date for the exam. If you want to set due dates or else you can click on allocate to user. Now your course has been assigned. Let's see how the student attend the exam. So we'll go to this test student's account. You can open a new browser and type your URL and then click on student and then uh, click on student and you'll get to type your username test students username and its password and click on login so now here in courses you can see all your courses displayed so you can see your assigned exam course you can click on start to start your exam click on start so you can see all your instructions you can go scroll down and click on the checkbox and click on i agree and start exam to start your exam so here you can see your drive link which we have given as question so what we have to do is that we have to copy it after copying the link you can paste it in a new tab so now you will see your question paper so the students will be viewing just like this so they can see the whole question paper here and they can either type their answers in the answer space provided below or else they can attach files by clicking on attach file and attach their answer sheet so let's see how the students attach the answer sheet so we have to make sure attach file works so click on attach file so we have to make sure if we can attach files for this question so we have we just have to click on a file and then try to attach it so make sure it is shown below after you have attached it and you can view it for previewing so you can click on save and next to save the answer so now you can click on finish exam to finish the exam so here we can see that the report is not being shown because we have already checked the checkbox. So if we uncheck it, the students will be able to view their results. So this is how we create an exam and assign it to a dummy student and then test it. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.